you're going back to a team that was kind to us on on Tuesday. Yeah, I'll go back to the well with the Red Wings. The price is too good not to. The Panthers are are shorthanded right now. They're not playing, uh, you know, like like we're used to seeing from them. And it's just not the same team really without Barkov as a top line center. Plus 160 is a great price to go back to the Red Wings. They're playing a really well-structured game right now. If they get another solid goaltending performance, they're definitely going to be more live than that number suggests. So we'll go back to the well. They were good to us in Tampa. The Panthers, they had a pretty tough night in Winnipeg. We hit on both those. I think it's a good time to go back to it considering the number here. But I will say watching the injury news is definitely very relevant. If Barkov's going to remain out as well as Lundell, we're very happy with this price. If you get word that they're both going to play, I definitely wouldn't open up as wide. Yeah, I'm with you. I like the wings here. Um, the other thing is you just kind of don't know what you're going to get from, I mean, you could say that about the Red Wings goaltending as well, but the, the Panthers goaltending, uh, especially if Bobrovsky goes. So uh, you never, it's never a bad idea to, to take them on with a big number on a team, like you said. And like we said on uh, our last episode, that is, they're not playing, you know, lights out hockey, but the Red Wings are, they're all right. Like they're, they're trending in the right direction with their, their modest, like uh, ice tilting numbers. So uh, I, I don't mind going back here to the Red Wings to go two for two uh, in the Florida two step. I am going to go against the Dallas stars again, another move that paid off on Tuesday. Uh, we got the the Leafs and now the senators there plus one sixty five in Dallas Ottawa is an incredibly frustrating team. I can't imagine as, you know, as frustrating as it is for me as someone who just follows them from more of a betting standpoint uh, for if they're fans, because they're still generating a ton of offense. They're still tilting the ice in the right direction for the most part, but they're just one part of their game just kind of falls apart every night. Uh, and we saw that against the Kings, the Kings blew them out pretty quickly uh, on Tuesday night and Ottawa, over their last 10 games, 53.8% expected goals rate. They're averaging 2.9 expected goals per 60 minutes at 5.5. They're scoring 1.3. That number is going to tick up eventually. It's just going to. They're creating 12, almost 12 and a half uh, high danger chances in that span. They're giving up you know, too many chances, especially with their goaltending. But uh, I guess the Stars team that I generally just want to keep going against because I think the prices are just going to be out of hand. I'll, I'll do it again. I'll I'll suffer suffer the pain that is betting on the 2022-2023 Ottawa Senators. Yeah, and I like that over here too. You hit on a lot of the points about the Sens that I think are really obvious and clear. The underlying numbers point out that they are still, still playing really well offensively. I think we're going to see that continue. The puck's going to keep going in their net though. So I think riding their overs will be strong as well and, and is definitely a reasonable look in this game. And then while we're on the Senators and, you know, in a, in a podcast where we've kind of got a weaker slate, I think they're, if they don't win tomorrow, I like them a lot. Well, either way, but I like them a lot Saturday versus Nashville. I think that could be a really good spot as well with probably a, a really similar number. So to piggyback on your points there and to give the listeners a little something extra for the week, I think that's likely to be a really strong play. 